It's feeding day here again at Torpedoes and Tarantulas. This is going to be more than one part. I have several mouths to feed, so let's get started. We're going to start out with one of my new slings that I just recently got. This is Ideal Feli Mira number one, the Bluefoot Baboon. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see these guys or not. You can see its burrow right down in there. And of course, it's got a trapdoor somewhere in that mound of dirt. I'm not sure where. But hopefully we can put a roach in there and we'll see it pop out. Now it's been um, three days, I guess, since I got these slings. Oh, well, that one went right down in the tarantula's den. And it appears to have gotten eaten up. So let's move on to the next one. All right, Nariotheli Mira number two. You could probably just make out a couple of little feet right down in that area there. Let's put a worm in and let's see if we can get a glimpse of it. I mean, a, not a worm, a roach. As I mentioned, I got these guys like three days ago. Um, I could have fed them yesterday, but I had just gotten back from a trip. I was very, very tired and I crashed pretty hard when I got home, so... I thought I would just wait until today and feed everyone. I've got a lot of tarantulas to feed today, so like I said, this will be more than one part. And there we go. That one is fed. We didn't get much of a glimpse of it, but it's been fed. Now let's move on to the next new sling. And up next, we have Bonatina species Camella. That little black thing with the fuzzy legs. Let's see if it's hungry. And indeed it is. Very nice takedown out of the Bonatina species Camella. It's very similar to my Bonatina cyanofemur, and it was actually listed on Pop Friction's website as a Bonatina species camella, but could be a cyanofemur. But as I mentioned when I unboxed it, I don't really care either way because they are beautiful tarantulas. So there you go. There's that one fed. Let's move on to the next one. And up next is my Ephibopus murinus, the skeleton leg tarantula. It was actually out in the open, but now it's down in its burrow. It's made quite a nice uh, burrow, as you can see, <clears throat> down into enclosure there. I'm not sure if we'll get a view of it, but I will put a roach in there for it, and um, we'll see if it eats. And indeed it does. We really didn't get to see the takedown very well. Let's see if we can get a view of it through the side here. See a little bit of that metallic green on the abdomen there. You can kind of start to see the beginnings of some of those uh, stripes that are going to be on the legs as it turns into an adult. There we go. There is the fourth one fed. Let's move on to the last one. Now this one here was the freebie that I got from Palp Friction with that order. Um, if you did not see the unboxing video, please go back and do that. This is the one that actually uh, uh, made a break for it, and I was actually able to capture it. It was labeled C Jose or Hosei or whatever. Uh, I could not find it in their inventory, so I emailed Alexandra and asked her <clears throat> to tell me what it was that she gave me, and she told me that it is it's called the Cytherognathus Hosei, Jose, however you say it. It is an Asian arboreal. It is new to the hobby, and she said they only have a handful of them, so they will not be going into the shop. So, guys, I know I have sung praise on Pout Friction before, but they just go above and beyond every time I get something from them. There's only been one goof up, and that was in the, the order before this one. And it is because of that that I have these tarantulas here now because they offered me store credit. This is a pretty cool looking sling, even though it is small and just kind of blackish. You can see the beginnings of some 
striped markings on its abdomen. Let's see if it's hungry. And it is. What a beautiful little guy. There it is. That is the last of the slings that I have to feed. I am going to go get the rest of my tarantulas now and start feeding them. Wow, what a beautiful tarantula. You can see those markings kind of starting on the abdomen there. So cool. All right, let me go get the rest of my tarantulas. Okay, so this is one of two Fonapelma simani that I got from Edward Tyndall. Let's see if it's hungry. Without a doubt, these little guys never disappoint when it comes to eating. They are awesome little slings. Voracious little eaters. Okay, let's move on to the next one. And here is a Simani number two. Again, they do not disappoint when it comes to feedings. They are just awesome little tarantulas. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now this one here, I can rarely ever get to feed on camera. But this one was a freebie from Pout Friction as well, um, several months back. And it's actually probably going to feed for us on camera today. This is the Selenocosmia crassipes, or Queensland whistling or barking spider, or Australian whistling or barking spider. Here we go, some nice little fang action. It has been fed as well. We're doing pretty good so far. We, we're going eight for eight, I think. I think that's how many I fed. Anyway, let's move on. All right, and so up next is my piece of Lotharia tigra Uh You may not be able to see it. It's got kind of a little burrow kind of thing right down here under the base of this piece of cork bark. And it's usually hanging around on this cork bark somewhere, but I think it retreated when I uh, touched this enclosure. You can kind of, if you look really hard and you got good eyes, you can kind of see those markings, abdomen markings, down there a little bit. So let's uh, let's put a roach in there and see if we can see it. I don't think I've actually gotten it on camera since I unboxed it. All right, so I'm going to try to attempt to drop the roach down in the general vicinity of where the tarantula is. And we just have to hope for the best. And I got the roach down in there, and it's now starting to struggle. I did kind of incapacitate it a little so it couldn't run, so maybe the tarantula will feel the struggle and will come out and grab it and we can actually see it do a takedown this is one of four that I got in the mystery box from yet again Palp Friction can't say enough good stuff about them guys if you want tarantulas deal with Palp Friction only <clears throat> I don't know if this one's gonna feed for us but we'll wait just a minute It may not feed for us on camera. Excuse me, guys. All that talking makes me thirsty. So you can, again, you can kind of see like where its little burrow den cork tube thing is right in that area there underneath the cork bark. It's probably not going to feed for us on camera, <clears throat> and I, I don't honestly don't even know if this thing is in a pre molt or not, because like I said, I don't see it a heck of a lot, so we are going to move on to the next. Up next is my Avicularia variegata, the grizzled pink toe. This was another one that I got out of that mystery box from Palp Friction. 
this thing molted mm, probably a week and a half ago. Uh, I fed it several days ago. It it kind of did a uh, threat posture slap strike thing at a mealworm, but then I offered it a roach and it greedily took it. I'm going to start with the mealworm again and let's see what happens. And there we go. This was my first um, New World Arboreal. Looking forward to watching this little guy grow and transform. So that one has been fed. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one to be fed, this is my Bonatina cyanofemur, the Mexican blue femur. I, uh, I'm not sure if we'll get to see it. I'm hoping so. This one spends a lot of time down in its burrow now. That mealworm's pretty fast. Um, it's right down in that burrow somewhere. I, uh, like I said, I don't know if we'll get to see it. This is the one that is similar to the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the Bonatina camilla that I just got from Pout Friction. They are closely related. They are both Mexican species. And I am hoping that, um, those mealworms just not going in the right direction. I don't think that we're going to get to see this one feed on camera. Unless I keep that mealworm from crawling around too much. And, um, I may have squished its head too hard there. Well, we may not get to see this one either. And uh, I think I goofed up there. I was just trying to squash its head so that it couldn't slither away, but looks like I killed it. Oh, nope, it's still moving. Some, not much. This tarantula may not come out and feed for us on camera. Generally, when it feeds, it is it feeds down in its den because the mealworm crawls down in there. So, it does not look like we are going to get to see this, this one feed on camera. So, let's continue on. And up next is my very skittish Pislotheria rufolata. This one molted um, probably a couple of weeks ago as well. I don't know that I've ever actually physically witnessed this one. Come on, focus. Physically witnessed this one feed, and I know I haven't fed it on camera. So I'm just going to offer it a roach, and let's see what happens. Schizoid as this thing is, it's probably just going to run from the roach rather than um, eat it, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, this was my dream pokey. I got this one at the uh, Tarantula Takeover Show in St. Louis. Where did that roach go? Ah, that focus sucks today. I do not know why. It's really starting to tick me off. Here comes the roach. I'm not sure which end is which of this tarantula. Let me get my hand out of the way so there's not near as much glare. Oh, it made a move for it. There we go. Yes. Very nice takedown. That was definitely worth the wait. I cannot wait to watch this beauty grow. They, in my opinion, are the most beautiful of the Pisolotheria genus. And, of course, they are one of the biggest. We got to see it feed on camera today, so let's move on to the next one. Up next is another tarantula that I got from the Tarantula Takeover Show in St. Louis that I have not physically witnessed feed on camera. This is another one that bolted a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to offer it some food today and... Let's see if it will eat. This is my Carabina Versicolor. The Antilles Pink Toe or the Martinique Pink Toe. I'd been wanting one of these for quite a while. I finally got this one from the show. It was the only one that I saw there. This tarantula does not appear 
very impressed by the worm that I'm offering it right now.